So what do you find in the marketplace in terms of uh, managers? Uh, do managers understand the value of real-time analytics, one? Uh, and, and two, do they understand that lots of the innovation here is, is driven by, if you like, the data infrastructure and the, uh, and the, and the processing power? Or, or, or is there a disconnect that you find in the marketplace today? Well, it's, it's a little bit of disconnection slash misinformation. Uh, so, you know, we all know, I think the last white paper that, are, that, that I read, it says like 89% of executives said that in 2009, AI machine learning is one of the most critical things to do. Uh, everyone is doing it, everyone is talking about it. It's like, you know, eight years ago, you know, I need to have a Facebook page. Why? I don't know, because I have to have one. Everyone has one. So I have to have one, go and build me one. Uh, or like, you know, 20 years ago, I need to have a website. Why? Because everyone's building a website, so I have to have one. Real case scenario. I may have a machine learning team and a marketing team building the best predictive model ever. And it's amazing. And I know that Paolo has 90% of chances of going to a store and buying some shoes. Great. You got the promotion, you saw the shoes. These people know me, I want the shoe. You go to your store, out of stock bad customer experience, right? Because the inventory and the people that were managing and optimizing the inventory wasn't talking to the people optimizing the campaign. Let me take that example even one step further. You go to a store and you see the shoe and you see that they have it and you really want it, but can you really go and try the shoe on? No, you have to wait for a store associate to kind of help you to you know, go and get the shoe from the back of the store. You're sitting there for half an hour and there is no one to help you because the store personal wasn't optimized for the traffic on that day at that time. So now I created two very bad experiences. So once again, it's a challenge, but it's an evolution of the machine learning where we started creating silo solutions on marketing, on inventory, on personal management, on merchandising, on store operations and logistics. But now the next evolution, it's in real time. How do we make all of them talk to each other? How do we create one brain, one solution that is aware of all these different silo decisions and making one optimized decision for the business as a whole. And that's where you're going to start seeing a lot of like reinforcement learning coming into play when I as a business can decide, here's my short term goal, here's my long term goal. And the reason why I believe reinforcement learning is going to be very important is because right now, almost everything that is being deployed, it's deployed with a short term goal. I'll give you another example. I'm sending an email campaign. The goal is for you to click on the email. And all the models, all the data, all everything that I'm optimizing for is for you to open that email. But it's really no long-term strategy. It's not long-term strategy to say, on, on this plateau of marketing channels, I can talk to you and all these different emails I'm sending to you. My really goal for this shopper, for this type of behavior, is that I want an extra trip to the store within a month. I want an extra item in the basket within the next six months. I want to shift this customer from this segment to that segment. So the next evolution is something like reinforcement learning, being aware and looking at all these different silo solutions and deployments, and then making decisions in real time based on a short-term and long-term goal for the business for that shopper. And once again, in real time, and once again, under 200 milliseconds.